What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Snap walkthrough. Okay, so... It turns out that we needed 40 types of Pokemon to actually get to the next level. I had to go to a few different places, take a few different pictures, get out of a few different places... ...real quickly. And now, it is time, finally time to go to the next course, so let's go right ahead and open this course up, and that is... This river is rapid. I'll have to do, or I'll have to concentrate hard, or I could miss a good shot. This place is pretty much the devil of this whole this whole game right here because you're riding on water, you have no control whatsoever, and there are different kinds of Pokemon that just come out through uh, through the water right here. As you can see, we're starting to see some shells, and look at that! Oh uh, damn! Oh, damn, you see? You're missing a few good things right here. And, well, I'm going to I'm gonna unlock a few things, and, yeah. Oh, wow. I, I completely... There we go, okay. There we go, and... There we go. <laughs> wow. As you can see, these Pokemon are merciless when it comes to... Uh, Taking pictures. I really do suck at this level right here. There we go. And if you keep on doing that, you'll be able to actually get yourself a proper picture of Geodude and Sandshrew. Now, for the longest time, I actually thought that taking a picture right there of, of Sandslash was the way to go, but there are other ways of actually getting that picture up close. And I found out like 10, 15 years later, and that was drop these guys. Drop these guys, it drops that guy, and bam. Bam. You get yourself a proper picture of Sand Slash, which Damn! As you can see, I'm not doing I'm not doing so hot right now because of this crap right here. Holy crud. Okay, so I'm gonna be throwing a few things. Now, there was a, a specific Pokemon that you threw away. Now if you hit this magic carp. It will actually go straight into that waterfall and bam, evolve straight into a Gyarados. I do not know how that happens, but that right there is some scary stuff. Now, if you hit it with a, if you hit it with a Pester Ball right there, look at that. It's looking all mean and everything. Now I'm gonna turn that around and try and get some better pictures of other Pokemon right here, like this. This is the hardest one you can actually take, and that is of Staryu. Which, you know, you gotta, you gotta have to hit it dead center. So there's two Staryus. Once you do that, they will actually go in straight to this Whirlpool. And bam. Bam. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that is that right there. And bam. What you need to do next is you actually have to hit this Squirtle right in the backside. Straight to this Mankey. And bam, he will follow it. What happens next is it will well, pretty much uncover something pretty big. I don't know. It will uncover some kind of secret. God dang it. I always get these, god dang. Yeah, screw it. Hit him. Hit him with the pester ball. Then it goes straight to the button. And then bam. It will, it will actually uncover a big secret. And that is this place right here. Now, one would question, how in the heck did Professor Oak get there? Is he there for a reason, or did he just, like, you know, is he, is he just lazy? But here he is. Oh, hi, Draven. What a surprise to see you here. I suppose you'd like to know why I'm here. Ah, well. I received some interesting information at the Pokemon Lab. It seems that there are six Pokemon signs hidden on this island. They have something to do with an important Pokemon that are here. The signs are scenery which seem to uh, resemble Pokemon. One sign is a mountain that looks like a Dugtrio. I came here to look for it, however, I can't go any deeper into the island, so I can't find it. Have you seen a mountain that it looks like a Dugtrio? Oh, I have an idea. If you find, a, uh, if you find this Pokemon sign, take a picture of it like you would a Pokemon. We might discover clues from a po from the pictures and the places there where you took them. Shall I repeat this information? Hell no. Wait. Wait. 
I will add a uh, page for the Pokemon signs and the Pokemon report. See you later! Now, the thing is, how could he not go deeper if, you know, he built the Zero One? I'm just asking. I don't know. I'm just, you know, questioning everything right now. Probably because I'm a little cranky. But here it is, 30 pictures in all, and they're not going to be good at all. As you can see, one picture of Squirtle looking that way. And hold on just a sec. Here we go with Magikarp. <laughs> I'm taking a picture of Magikarp of another Magikarp as it's getting its butt kicked. So let's go right here. And three pictures of Geodude, which, yeah, not not so great right now. Eventually, I will get some better pictures of these, of these guys. This one's better because there's two Pokemon right next to it. And then Sand Slash. Let's go with this one since there is a Graveler there. And let's see. Seven pictures of Gyarados, my favorite Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. This one looks menacing right here. So I'm going to go with this one. And then... Oh, crud. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. As you can see, the picture of Starmie is not so great right here. Look at that. So we're going to have to go with this. Crappy pictures all around. And here we have Dratini. Oh, my God. Yeah, this place is the devil. And... Well, let's go with this one since it's kind of looking at us right there and then. So... There it is. We're done with this whole place. Not really, but you guys get what I'm saying. So here we go. Good size. Seven pose. And... Alright. And we start off great. Here we have a magic carp. Hopefully... Well, never mind. Look at that. Oh, there are other Pokemon in there. Oh! Damn. Okay, so I thought I would actually beat it since there was another magic carp there, but never mind. So here we go with the sand true, and the sand true is getting some good points. Wonderful. Good loving, alrighty. And then we got Geodude going big, going strong, and bam. Alrighty, it's wonderful. And look at this a proper picture of Sand Slash. It's a little small, but it's okay. It's much better than what I used to do when I was a kid right there. And then here we have Gyarados all mad. Oh, look at that. It looks scary. Double for me, and yes, we get 3,700 off of that. This is where it gets shitty. Look at that, 330, pose is bad. Yeah, look at that. You were close, but you see, it's th it disappoints Pokemon to be photographed from behind. Yeah, well, when you're in a freaking tidal wave, or not a tidal wave, but a, a fast current, you're not going to be able to get some good pictures off of that. Good God, Professor Oak. And, well, this is probably going to be the worst. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wait. Should have been perfect if the Pokemon was in the middle of the frame. So two of the crappiest pictures. Star you and Star me. May you guys die in a fire. So here we go. Dratini. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. And... Well... Wonderful. It gets 2,000. But the pictures that I could have taken, man. It would have been better. And because of this, bam. You get yourself a weight, Draven. And... We're going to talk to back. Professor Oak right here. Now, he's going to be like, here's something to make your search uh, for Pokemon Science easier. Wouldn't it be great if Zero One moved faster? Well, now you can move, use the Dash Engine if you want to go faster. It's easy to use Press R to make the Zero One move faster. Shall I repeat this information? Heck no. First of all, see the Pokemon Sign page. Okay, so... Now that we've uncovered Professor Oak over at the Valley, he has added a Pokemon sign page. This is actually a page for six signs that are throughout the island. Very easy to find. You guys just you guys haven't realized it yet. Now, when I was a kid, it was very difficult for me to actually find these signs because it was like there was no internet back in the day. It was, well, there was. It's just you needed to get permission or we just didn't have it. And the way you found these things, or the way you find all these signs is through the schoolyard. You talk to the people who have this game, and they'll, they'll obviously tell you, Oh, well, this, well, if you do this, you'll find this. If you do this, you'll do this. And this is where, like, this is where you get some clues, or you get some, uh... You get some lies about this game, like, oh, you'll be able to find Mewtwo, the actual Mewtwo, or, you know, these other different Pokemon. You can get all 150 Pokemon on these games. These are some of the lies that I've been given. So, let's go ahead and take a look at, you know, these signs. So, as you can see right here, 
It is said that somewhere on this island is a mysterious group of huge rocks. Surprisingly, if you look at it from a certain angle, it appears to uh, be a Pokemon shape. Okay. The next one is, when lights shine on an object, its shadow will appear on the wall behind it. Somewhere there is a shadow that looks like a Pokemon. Cool. This one right here, smoke changes its shape and some shapes look like a Pokemon. Where can you find smoke? You already know. This one right here, you, have you heard of a tree near the river in the jungle that looks like a Cubone? No one knows who planted it, but I heard that someone has seen a, has seen the tree. It's a mystery. Shining brightly somewhere? That's all I know about this. <laughs> wow, thanks. And the final one. Somewhere in the middle of the steep mountains is a mountain that looks like a Pokemon. I went to the valley to find this mountain. Yet you didn't make another uh, another zero one vehicle. I just... Jesus criminy. Okay, so th these are the six signs of the uh, of Pokemon Snap. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon report. And see see what the damage is. Now that we've gone through every single one of these uh these these locations, so let's rearrange this to these scores. As you can see, our Pikachu picture is our best one right now, and a lot of our well. Yeah, a lot of our uh, best pictures come from the volcano because, well, it's the easiest one right there. But as we go lower and lower, holy crud, you see a lot more valley than anything. And to this day right now, Eevee is still the worst picture we've taken alongside Staryu and Starmie. This will all change within the next few episodes. Not only that, but it, we'll be able to find some more better Pokemon and all that crud too, so... Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, guys, in the next episode, we will be going through, I think, the whole Pokemon Island. And we're going to be looking for all six signs of, of this island right here to uncover the last course that we need to get. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.